Is real estate the best way to get rich? How much can you really make investing in real estate? How much do people in real estate really make? This is such a good question. and Noel gets asked this question all the time, okay? I've literally made millions in real estate, mostly in the past six years, and it is definitely not as hard as people have said it is. There's some couple of steps that you need to do, but this is real estate. So real estate is one of the best ways to get rich. It's just, there's a lot of bad information out there. So I am going to have to tell you the truth. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I'm gonna share with you some real options for getting rich in real estate, not just in the short term or a couple of deals, but long-term generational wealth. I'm gonna share with you my real life blueprint on how to start from zero and get into the 5% of income earners. It's gonna be a lot more surprising to what that means. I'll share with you in a minute, the top 5% I'm gonna make sure you can get into in less than a year. And last but not least, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna share with you my secret sauce on how I went from about $200,000 a year to over a million dollars a year from one year to the next. So let's talk about real estate because everybody wants to get into real estate, but there's so many different options in real estate of what you can do. And so there's many things. So let's talk about real estate. Real estate can be anything from apartment buildings to strip malls to vacant land, you know, lots to single family homes and houses, to condos, to timeshares. There's just so much when we are talking about real estate that it can get very confusing. But I'm gonna talk mostly about single family homes and commercial residential real estate. So apartment buildings and things like that. Things that people live in. Because that has been my area of expertise in real estate. Now again, you can buy warehouses, you can buy, uh, you know, there's so much that you can do in real estate. But I like focusing on where people live. I say this to you because, you know, I am a little bit nerdy. Noel literally has two master's degrees. I have a master's degree in economic development from Penn State and I have my MBA from Baylor University. And so one of the things that I kind of have learned over time, both in my own experience and from my education, is that you want to really follow the economics of what's going to be needed. You want to be in a business or in real estate that's going to you know, make money over a certain amount of time. You don't want just these get rich quick schemes. And so in my education, I can tell you for sure, this is not just my real world experience, but even just from a book standpoint, real estate and where people live is not something that's going to be going away. I can't tell you that we're gonna be able to live in cell phones, we're not gonna be able to live in laptops. Yeah, they may make, <laughs> yeah, they may make houses much smaller and tiny houses, or you can live in a container, but people need somewhere to live. We don't necessarily like living under bridges or outside, we need shelter. So one of the things that we have found from our experience and from our education is that residential real estate, either single family homes or apartments has been one of the most steady and most lucrative types of real estate year over year and in the long term. Okay, now commercial real estate does have its ups and downs, but when we're talking about residential commercial real estate, it has been the number one steadiest type of real estate investment out there. So that is what I will encourage you to focus on. It's how I've made my millions and I'm gonna tell you how you can make yours too. So here's how you really get rich in real estate. One of the main things is gonna come down to the first thing, which is appreciation. Okay, so when we are buying real estate, the great thing about it is on a long term level, we're not just talking just one year to the next, but statistically speaking, real estate increases in value over time. Okay, so just year over year, the values of homes and apartment buildings and things like that and rents, they just go up year after year after year as more people in the economy grows. So appreciation is one way that just builds wealth naturally in the real estate market different from some other investment vehicles. So one of the things that you want to be careful about and think about is where am I going to be buying properties? Okay. Because you really want to know that appreciation is so important. You have to invest and buy properties that are going up in value. They must be going up in value. This is not a car. This is not a purse. These aren't shoes. You want them to be increasing in value and appreciation is so important when we're talking about getting rich because here's how I have made so much money buying properties at one value and doing things like forced appreciation. Okay. Which is fixing the property up, 
adding value to it and then selling it at a higher value, that has created wealth for me. That has created money for me. So just use an example. I get a property and it's a below market. It needs some work. Okay. I get the property for a hundred thousand dollars. I put $20,000 into the property with new stainless steel appliances, painting the walls, doing the floors, making it look nice. And then I sell the property for $200,000. There was some carrying costs. So I probably walked away with $70,000. Now I'm giving you that example because I've done that over and over and over again. Okay. So just think about if you could do this over and over and over again, how much money you would have. Okay. And this is not that difficult to do with the idea of course, of forced appreciation where you are going to force that value. You're going to force it to be worth more by putting in some equity and some things to increase the value. The second thing when we're talking uh, appreciation is leveraged appreciation. And this is the amazing thing about real estate and why it has created so many millionaires, including the one that you're looking at right now is leveraged appreciation with real estate. And I know you guys have heard this before. You can literally borrow the money in order to get it and start getting that cash flow and you're leveraging it again, borrowed money. That's what leverage means. And then usually you have a tenant in the property paying that mortgage. So you're getting the difference, but really you didn't have to put that much money into it each month. They're covering that debt. So that is another way to get rich in real estate, especially if you do this over and over and over again. Again, you're not going to get rich with one rental property. I'm sorry, guys. That's probably most people's problems. I really realized that I'm going to tell you that a little bit later is thinking too small with one or two rental properties is probably why you're not rich and it's more of a headache than it is a business. So think bigger, think bigger, think more properties because appreciation is very real. The next way that you get rich in real estate is cash flow. Okay. So cash flow is money coming in that you did not work for. All right. So we have earned income where we go to a job, even if you're a doctor or a lawyer, that's earned income. Trust me, I've done plenty of that where I worked and then I got money. That's earned income. But cash flow, passive income is from your asset. Okay. So you have this rental property. Okay. And it is bringing in cash flow each month that you did not have to work for. That is how you're going to get rich. You have an asset that is actually making you money. And people don't realize this, but most people get rich, not by earning the money, not by just earning it. You literally can use debt as money. That's what rich people do. They turn debt into money. And so most of us, again, this is what I was taught. I told you I have all these degrees and all this other stuff, but I was pretty dumb. I just kept going to school and kept trying to climb the corporate ladder to get rich, but that's not it. When I started getting a coach and I started talking to people that are actually wealthy and had millions of dollars and I was sitting there wondering why I was broke every two weeks, even after I got paid was because they were not afraid of debt. And I was, and in order, they were more concerned with their cash flow. Okay. So the appreciation that I told you, the value is going up. They don't care. Forced appreciation is one way. Leverage appreciation is another because they're going to use debt. And now they're going to get that cash flow from that property. And you're going to do the same thing with your rental property. So stop focusing and worrying so much about the debt and realize that you can turn that debt into cash flow. Oh, and then here is the sauce. I promised this to you and I can't even believe I'm sharing it, but this is the last tip and this is how you can really get rich in real estate. So you got your rental properties. All right. I told you my story. I was wholesaling then I was fixing and flipping and then I got some rental properties and I had the cash flow and I didn't have to work anymore. But that's not how I really took that money to that next level. Remember, I was just trying to replace my income from my job with my rental properties. But how I really started to make a bunch of money was with those multiple streams of income. I would create other businesses in real estate that already had to do with the business that I had. But the one that has made me the most money, okay, because I'm not even going to tell you to do the other stuff. It made me some money, but what has made the most money is teaching what I knew. So you learn it, you do it then you teach it because no one is really teaching real estate. I get, you know, I get, there's lots of gurus out here giving you a couple of minutes here and a couple of minutes there, but people really want to make a lot of money. They're going to need all of it. They're going to need that intense knowledge. They're going to need to talk to somebody that's done it before. They're going to need to model success and that's you. So once I became successful and I started adding in the coaching and the teaching and the books and the, the podcast and all this other stuff that I do to teach what I've already done, what I already learned, 
that's when I took that over to well over millions of dollars. And that's what you can do. So you learn it, you do it, and you teach it. I'm always learning. I'm always still reading books on real estate. I do it. I have my rental properties. That brings me money and I teach it and that brings me even more money in. So that is the key. That is the secret sauce to making millions and millions of dollars that does not end. You learn it, you do it, you teach it. So if you want to learn to do this and you want to do it more, I've created a full training, absolutely free. Too much to put here on YouTube. Go to noellesfreetraining.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -E with an S, noellesfreetraining.com. I have an entire course teaching you all of this so you can get started making money, the exact formula to making big profits without losing money that you can get started today, noellesfreetraining.com. Go ahead, check it out. This is Noel. to your success.